Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and Illustrator tutorials. Actually, this one is the logo design tutorials. I just made this logo in Illustrator and after that, I just made this one the mock-up. In Illustrator, if I go over there, I used a font which is really good font and I'll provide you that font download link in my video description. At first, I arrange that font and uh, use some script like Glyphix and then arrange and sort it out and just cut something uh, some areas and make this one like creative so i'll show you this process step by step let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first going to the file and taking new options so from here i'm taking 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel for the artboard and here the color rgb or cmyk if you want to go to the print or press print go to cmyk and if you are in a web publishing you should go to the rgb color so i'm using here the web publishing that's why rgb and hit the create button you're getting like uh, the artboard which is blank and white go to the text tool and select once here you'll get the demo text make it a little bit bigger the name of the uh, logo is uh, wedding love so writing down these two things here i'm just writing that thing separately pristine and writing that things so wedding in upper side and love in downside it's a little bit bigger and this one is a little bit smaller okay now time to go to the font here i'll select the font over here then to script and here a l this one here uh, if you select this one in the downside you will get the script over here and you can choose lots of script and lots of stuff from there and here are the glyphix options where you will get the glyphix options go to the type options you'll get the glyphix over there and you'll find out the lots of things over there here this one and one thing is that that portion or previous portion i use the small l and for this small l lots of things or lots of options over there it will appear from here if you select this one here is a small arrow you can press over there and this one was the glyphic portion and now time to add the wedding here i used here the wedding w is the small or like normal font and other one so this one is the glyphic options i'm just placing this one into my panel here okay it will help me out to select the glyphics here wedding just select the font from here okay now give the w into a small font or small letter this one actually w should be small okay and here if we just select over here love this one and g the last letter g should be like this if you press the arrow key you will get the arrow or get the options lots of options this round second one yes this one so i just got these things here i'll make this one a little bit bigger okay that's fine and here i will place it out in this portion the e and the uh, this glyphic is overlapping and uh, we have to cut it out before that we have to make this one into vectorized select all the stuffs that means all the fonts right press and create outline when you are making this one create outline this one is no longer font now this one is a vector font here select all the stuffs shift m for the shape builders tool and just press the alter option button and delete this portion and this portion so the portion will just omit it and it makes sense that this one is the like join with each other okay now i'll write down in, in a normal font the photography go to the text tool and select once and select any kind of normal font like nixa time new roman arial whatever it is 
write down the photography now make it smaller like this and select over there and make this one into like uh, the gap between two letters bigger like this or you can give the space like this okay and our font or our logo is ready now select all the stuffs making it group and making it copy now going to the uh, like uh, mock-up so we have that mock-up turn off this one this one and this one turn it on and this one as well so turning it off and select the smart object go to this portion and making it just paste it out in a pixel or a smart object and hit ok and select once press ctrl or command t and making it a little bit smaller and placing it out and save it out so now you're getting like that but here you can put the any kind of color like rose gold gold so i'm putting here the gold color and saving it out and it will save in this window and you can adjust the lights and other stuffs if you want and you can increase all the things if you explore properly you will get the things is appearing from pop up here okay and save it out and our logo is ready and our mockup is ready mockup is for the presentation and main thing is that you can use that thing in your photography if you want just make this one copy like that and make this one in white portion i'm saving that means copying this one and after copying that suppose you have photography which is uh, the this type of photography and like pixels and it okay and you can put this one over here and save it out your photography so you can save this one uh, as a png or ai or whatever it is so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video yes i'm signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye